Hi all, welcome to Back on Two Wheels. Um, we're in January now, 2022, after waving goodbye to 2021. Um, not out of the COVID woods yet, obviously, it's still, um, still cracking on around the world. But anyway, I hope you all had a great Christmas and um, a relaxing one and looking forward to uh, what the new year may bring um, and I hope it's good for everyone anyway. So I'm not going to put in any any little intro on this, we'll get um, straight back in. So basically um, what I want to do on this one is just have a little recap, a little look back at um, 2021 um, while well you can take in uh, the visual of uh, coming down the other side of uh, Zillatol although I actually had to go up slightly more before I could come down but um, yeah uh, the reason it wasn't that all done in one hit was just purely space space on the um, on the iPad that I do all my editing on um, I couldn't, I just couldn't get it all on and and then upload it. So I had to shorten the first one. But anyway, here it is. We are Zillatol Pass um, in Austria, um, just just north of Meyerhofen. Um, the ride that I did on on this day was from Munich. Uh, where I was uh, working to Meyerhofen where I'd previously been many moons ago um, on my one and only skiing trip so um, yeah I think my skiing's probably as good as me riding actually it's not it's not near as good as a riding but uh, so you can tell how bad a skier I was so anyway um, cracking on we'll um We'll just recap over 2021. Um, well, for me, 2021 um, started by just overcoming a dose of COVID. I tested positive, um, but I felt rough on, on the Christmas of 1920, Christmas Day. Sort of halfway through the day, I was feeling a bit sort of fatigued, um, not for a drink, um, and then I, I said, I'm just going to nip upstairs and have a, a, a bit of a doze, um, and then the next day I tested and tested positive for COVID, so um, then went and did a proper test because uh, that was done by uh, the missus had uh, one of these lateral flow test kits so we did one there and then I had to go and do a, a proper test a, a drive through uh, tested positive and therefore spent the rest of Christmas stroke New Year um, isolated in my room um, meals being dropped off at the door not on the door, etc., and uh, that was it for for those sort of ten days or whatever. So the start of um, twenty one was uh, the end of the COVID. Um, from there, it was um, a slow start to the year, but I I um, got a, a, involved in a project in Munich um, and by, what was it, 20, uh, no, sorry, Easter. By Easter, um, I, I came home from a Munich job and then took my bike over to Munich. So I rode down to Munich, which is approximately 800 miles from where I live in the UK. Um, it was a, a trip over two days, 
Um, I got off the got off the uh, channel tunnel, went through the Euro tunnel um, from Folkestone over to Calais, and it was so sort of when I got off the train, it was raining. Um, made my way up towards Belgium, um, and there was a, a light came on on the on the dash. It was um, transmission um, issue or transmission fault. So I'm thinking, crikey, this it, I'm meant to be driving down, all the way down to Munich. I don't need the transmission fault. So ultimately, I pulled over. I, I went and found a garage where I could sort of maybe have a look and see if I could see anything obvious. Um, um, you know, undercover because it was raining hard and I mean hard um, you may have seen uh, previous videos that I posted uh, regarding that trip um, I don't know if I did the first trip I think I did I did some en route down to the ferry but then I think the, the GoPro went I had issues with my um, my phone because I I use um, a quad lock uh, on the bike and it what I what I hadn't done is I hadn't put the the, the quad lock thing comes with a, a screen sort of waterproof protector that goes over the screen now the thing with that is you can put it on. But then it's difficult for people. People can't hear what you're saying. Um, not that I would when I'm writing, but um, I've had issues with that before where I've had the thing on and um, the missus is called in and you can't hear, can't hear nothing. So anyway, um, the rain was falling on my the screen of the phone and it was like changing all the. Like it was on maps and it was either moving the maps all of a sudden the, the camera was on. It was all sorts happening while I was all I wanted to do was get to my my first stop and um, get out of my wet clothes and um, have a nice hot shower. So uh, anyway, did that. Rode down the next day. It also rained half the journey, but um, as I got past sort of Frankfurt way, it started to dry up and the sunshine started to uh, peer through and and sort of dry me out a little bit. So. That was it. So whilst in um, Munich, I had a few uh, trips out at weekends. I took the bike out um, normally to maybe um, a lake or something. They've got some big old lakes out there. Um, so just had a, a little trip out. Um, it's nice to see, nice to ride around where you know, you've got mountains in the you know, in your, your foreground, etc., and the, the scenery is is nice and yeah, it's great. Um, nice roads, not too busy. Um, so yeah, it was a it was a, a good time. Uh, picked out uh, so I've, I've got sort of two or three uh, videos I think which I've done where I've, I've sort of gone round some of these lakes, um, and. Various other sort of towns I had a, I had a little um, uh, look through into. Um, so just basically picked somewhere, went there, um, took some video, and um, some of them got posted. Some of them I may still post later on, but um, at the time of, of doing this, I wanted to just sort of uh, give you an idea of what, you know, what last year involved and you know, what, what I'd like to do for the for 2022. Um, so yeah, so one of the highlights of 2021 then was um, the ABR Festival. So for anyone who's, who might be watching anywhere, anywhere else other than in the, the UK, um, the ABR Festival is, is the adventure of writing Adventure Bike Rider Magazine. It's their, um, it's a festival that they, they put on uh, each year. So, um, Reggie Hall, good event. 
and they missed the year before. This was the first time I've I'd been to it, um, and it was also the first time I'd been camping um, since maybe well maybe as a teenager, faffing around in the in the the woods with with my mates, um, but uh, certainly as a as a full grown adult. I um yeah first time I've been camping well one other time I've been camping but we won't talk about that time so anyway um it uh it was coming up in June uh, that part of June twenty twenty one and so um, and there were there I was in uh, Munich with the motorbike so um. I rode up in uh, all all of the 800 miles, or there or thereabouts, um, from Munich to uh, the Midlands or East Midlands, where where I'm based, um, in one day. So uh, I think it took, obviously with the crossing and everything, it took about 15 hours. You know, a couple of stops. Um, coffee at one, something to eat at another, you know, when you're filling up with fuel. So basically fuel stops were fuel for the bike, possibly fuel for me, and um, and then we had the um, channel crossing uh, in between. So rode up from there, I had to quarantine anyway in the UK for a few, uh, the, the 10 days or whatever it was before the event. and. Um, yeah, took, so took the bike over to the AVR festival. As I say, good time, good time had. It's the first festival I've been to. Um, I didn't go out on any of the, um, the the track that they had there. They had like an adventure track around the the, the estate of the, this uh, Raggy Hall. So they had um, an area marked out where you could uh, get, tear around the countryside um, but obviously, for two reasons. Firstly, the bikes is still big and heavy for me, um, being as now I'm only five six, and um, I don't consider myself currently to have the um, the skill set to uh, to handle that. There we are. Coming down this, coming down these roads, yeah. I think it might have been the first cow I come across. But there was, um, I think going down further on, you might see a few more. So yeah, um, didn't take it out on the on the track as such, but um, had a good look round at all the bikes. Listened to a lot of um, a lot of uh, speakers um, telling us all about their adventures. Um, a few a few of the people that I actually um, watch maybe YouTube videos, um, some some better known um, people as well, sort of uh, from the from the likes of the, the sort of biking adventure world, as it were. Um, so yeah, a fantastic weekend already booked up for twenty twenty two. So if you are um, if you are sort of coming along with that, then maybe um, maybe say hi. Um, if you probably have to recognise the bike because I don't get onto the videos that often um, for you to know who who I am, as it were. So um, yeah, so going back, rode it up, um, went to the festival, and then um, after that, I took it back down um, to. Munich uh, for another leg. So, did it rain that time? I think it, it was, yeah, we had a little bit of rain. It wasn't as bad. It wasn't like the, the first time was torrential. Uh, second time wasn't too bad. So, same again, I'd get out there, weekends I'd go out um, trying to find somewhere to, to go and hopefully take some, take some sort of video of the, of the places even to the point where, you know, in certain videos I'm, you know, just showing you sort of like the, 
the place that I went to as well. Um, so that's that. So anyway, uh, bought the bike back in um, end of no end of October, beginning of October. Or was it the end of October? Might be the end of October. Um, it needed its first service. I couldn't get it. That's right. I couldn't get it into the something like the sixteenth of um, October, or might have been later. Might have been sixteenth of November. Um, but anyway, bought it back so it could be serviced. Um, and that was, and that's pretty much it. That that sort of more or less ended my um, my. Uh, biking for the year just purely because um, I I hadn't sort of had done any more I've been out working out in Germany I didn't take the bike back because I knew I'd be coming back soon anyway um, and therefore that was it and then we've had sort of naff riding weather Christmas um, and now I'm back in Germany, although I'm in Frankfurt, um, and, you know, looking forward to uh, whatever this may bring. It's only a, um, it's only a short contract, this one, so I'm, I may not be bringing the bike out here on this one. Um, however, I will be looking for something else, so if it ends up being in Europe, um, or the UK, then, you know, sort of later on in the year, probably March sort of time, I'll, um, I'll hopefully be able to add some, add some more um, videos. Um, yeah, so, so that was that, and I should be careful on this one now. I actually approached this a little bit too, a little bit too fast, and I was a bit over a little bit too close there. Um, yeah, that wasn't ideal. Um, anyway, so 2022. Um, I guess it's more of a wish list, isn't it? Um, because we don't know what's around the corner, what restrictions are in place, etc., etc. So. Um, what I would like to do is, I miss the uh, motorcycle live in Birmingham, so I'd like to try and make the um, the MCN motorcycle show in um, London, uh, which means I may fly back from from Germany for that, and sort of stay overnight uh, during the weekend, and then sort of make my way back either the next day or, or stay for a couple of days or something. Um, so that's that. Um, I've got the um, 2022 ABR Festival, which I'm already booked in uh, to go to. And uh, I will actually be taking the missus on this one. So, um, she made noises last one about, oh, you didn't invite me, so I thought, well, that's it. I've got a tickets, so it's a few days in a tent. Um, so, although she won't be riding a bike, they won't take her on the bike. We'll, we'll take a car and the bike, and at least um, that way I haven't got the, the bike loaded down with, uh, with everything for um, tent, etc., etc. It can, can all be carried in the car, make it make the journey a little bit easier. Um, uh, what else? Um, they're, the, they're the two sort of events. Um, beyond that, uh, I'd like to obviously take and get in some more footage um, and you know, be able to post some more videos of various places that, that I go to, either in Europe or um, the UK, as I say. Uh, I'd like to get over to um, Ireland. I'm sort of planning a, a, um, a little meet up with some of the guys I, I used to work with in, um, in Ireland. 
So hopefully take the bike over to Ireland, maybe have a um, maybe have a week touring, and and then sort of meet up either uh, either at the beginning or at the end of that week to um, uh, meet up with a lot of old work colleagues. So um, that's that's a sort of um, a, a, a semi-made plan, and we'll see how that evolves. Um, okay, so beyond that, um, I'd I'd like to do based on the fact that the bike is comfortable, or I feel it's comfortable, and I've done sort of eight hundred, more or less eight hundred miles in one in sort of fifteen hours, as it were. Riding, I'd like to possibly see if I can do one of these iron butt challenges, a uh, thousand miles in 24 hours. Um, it should be possible. The bike is certainly capable. Um, whether or not this old um, frame is is um, is able to do it is another thing. But um, yeah, we'll see. Uh, late 50s late, well it will be early it, it'll probably be early 60s by the time I get to do it so um, yeah so that's I'd like to get one of those uh, under my belt as it were and then um, and then as well as that I'd also like to see if I can get on a um, you know a, a proper um off-road experience class or something like that, just to get some some experience. I mean, obviously, I've not taken this off-road. It doesn't have um, any sort of off-road tyres on it. Um, I've been on the grass on it, obviously, at the ABR Festival, but, you know, it's not... The tyres that are on it are not suitable for anything that's um, any, any more risky than, than that. And, and to be honest... Um, I, I need all the training I can get. So, um, yeah, that's what um, that's what the plan would be. So it's it's basically uh, two events, um, Iron Butt Challenge, uh, visit to Ireland, and the um, and some and some uh, tuition. Uh, into how to how to actually handle the bike um, in those off-road conditions. What I might have to do is get some uh, get some new tyres for. Her. Um, it's only done sort of I think it's six thousand miles or something at the moment, so the, the tyres are still good. Um, and it's just a case of getting some uh, knobblies or something like that. I, I've got a I've got a sort of sneaky feeling that I, you know, I may need something a bit, a bit smaller capacity. With still with a bit of grunt, but also, um, you know, that I'm a bit lighter. But hey, um, we'll know that when it comes to the lessons. If they let me record as well, then um, I'll I'll bring those to you as well. So. So that's pretty much um, what we've got. Um, anything beyond that, it will be a case of um, if I'm if I'm back out working in Europe after after March, I'll um, I'll bring the bike back out and see where we can visit while uh, while I'm out here. Um, it's it's something that it's just something that has to be done, especially these um, you know if you're getting into sort of like the, the country areas, the, the mountain sides, etc. It's um, it's just magical, isn't it? The, the actual areas that you're riding through. It's not a case of I'm not a sports rider. I don't go fast, as you can tell. Um, especially on this, this being the first one, <laughs> I'm rather gingerly getting down this road. But um, I suppose once you've done a few, you'll um you get a bit quicker but um, hey you're taking the you're taking the scenery 
and everything else as well. Um, and then it's a case of maybe getting myself some, get myself set up with a, a proper mic set up so I can actually maybe record while I'm riding instead of doing these voiceovers. So that's pretty much it. Um, as far as there are other things I want to do, but um, we'll we'll see what uh, we'll see what evolves. So um, if you like the video, um, then uh, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you've got any sort of um, any events or things that are going on, um, or maybe you've got you've got a special bike that you've built or something like that, I don't know. Um, yeah, give us a shout. May come down and do a little interview or something and uh, show your bike off. So, um, yeah, that's 2021 gone. 2022, we've we've come through the door. We just need to see what's inside. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I hope um, that they've not not put you to sleep at night um, there's um, I think they can go on a bit some of them and I do sometimes <laughs> yeah just trying to make it fit just trying to make it fit the, um, the video so anyway so this one ended soon anyway the um, I had uh, uh, one GoPro battery went flat further up and then uh, this particular camera dies a little bit further down this road there, so it doesn't. I didn't get the whole trip into uh, my often um, that I wanted. But we're at this point here. Um, I don't know if you can actually see that. You can see sort of houses down the bottom there. We're not. We are not that far um, up from what would be the main the main drag through. But um, obviously these roads now are more, um, more like normal roads. Uh, oh, and they've got bends in them, which is uh, obviously what we like anyway. But uh, they're, uh, they're, they're nicer tarmac as opposed to the dodgy ones further up in the mountain um, where you're sort of fighting for space with cars and all sorts. I, just, I couldn't imagine doing it in the car and then having another car going there, coming the other way. It's, um, it's bad enough squeezing past on a bike. Um, although you do feel a bit more, um, you, especially because the bike's tall for me, you, you feel a little bit vu more vulnerable on a bike if you're over near the edge and squeezing past um, a car, as it were. So, yeah. But it's... Um, it's been a good year. It's been. I'm. I'm. I'm glad I took the bike over. Um, it's. I've been to some sort of decent places. Ridden some nice roads, and although I didn't get to do the P five hundred, as I as I'd hoped, um, I I have been on some some nice roads, and it's uh, the beauty is you can come over here. You don't have to take the. Um, you don't have to take the motorways or water barns or, or whatever. You can just rock up, take the normal roads. They go up through the mountains, they're nice. Um, and occasionally you get these little, these little sort of back passes. You, you have to sort of pay for these um, to be able to ride them. But um, it's, it's still a joy and I will undoubtedly want to do things like this again um, as my as my skill level increases, or you know, uh, I don't know if it's skill level or just the um, the gonads to do it. So anyway, this is pretty much the end of it. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, have a safe 2022, and um, I'll, I'll catch you people on the next one. See you later. Thanks for watching.